and it just goes on and on. I bring you Max Kaiser. Max, uh, we could be like Argentina, which is where we're going, or Greece. They'll still tell us we left the recession four years ago. Uh, I want you to break down the latest news, where we are on the DEF CON clock here. Have we gone to the highest DEF CON yet? Uh, Max Kaiser. Hey, Alex, great to be on with you, uh, with your, your global audience of millions. Well, as you know, seven months ago or so, I made a very aggressive prediction of a huge uh, collapse by April of this year. So uh, we've got two months left on that prediction. It's a very aggressive prediction. Uh, what we have in the mix right now, we do have the currency wars. That has become a headline that is splashed all over newspapers around the world. The various countries are trying to debase their own currency. They are, in effect, it's, it's a firing squad lined up in a circle. It's a They're race to the bottom, exactly as Ross Perot warned us. Uh, yeah, and uh, now at the G20 meeting, they all explained how this was a good thing because they're just helping each other's export business. And it's not about a trade war and it won't devolve into a hot war. But of course that's false. What the, the, the truth of the reality here is that they're still allowing the Japanese yen to collapse more than any other currency because it provides the cheapest uh, source of funds for these governments to engage in buying each other sovereign debt. Because since the collapse of 2007, 2008, since the Lehman Brothers collapsed, there is one market that has been kept artificially afloat these past five years, and that is the bond market and the sovereign bond market. And it's been kept afloat by things like quantitative easing and by governments buying And that's each the bubble you predicted will blow up by late April. Right. This is the bubble that is yet to, to blow up and it'll be the most spectacular bubble. Another uh, development since we spoke last is that you've got two currencies that have been identified as possibly the next two currencies to go down an Argentinian-like rabbit hole of destruction. One is the Japanese yen, for the reasons we just discussed, and now people are talking about the British pound. So the British pound was seen as a safe haven, uh, but now with the euro doing better, people are pulling out of the British pound, uh, and you've got people like George Soros and other hedge fund managers publicly saying they are now in full attack mode against the British pound, and this means that the British pound's credit rating will be downgraded. And, and what's going to happen here in Britain and why we moved to Britain, because we knew this was going to come, is they're going to have to de uh, have a full-scale currency uh, de debasement or downgrading a revaluation by 30 or 40 percent which means that inflation will skyrocket here. And it's already a huge problem, Alex. And here, the big story the past week has been about horse meat. They have discovered horse meat in all of the beef, beef uh, meat That's products. That's how they're trying to keep inflation down is debasing uh, everything, and, you know, turning the cigarettes into sawdust and fake chocolate and synthetic gin, a.k.a. 1984. Exactly. Uh, you also have a story about uh, Maker's Mark uh, whiskey, I, I guess it is, in the U.S. has been caught watering down their whiskey. But this is, a, this is an inflation story where you see substitution for cheaper meats, in this case, horse meat, for beef. And because the agricultural industry can't keep prices down anymore, they've gone through the genetically modified organism series of price deductions. They've gone through globalization and the price deductions. But starting of two or three years ago and starting post-crisis and starting with that speculation that we've seen in agricultural commodities that led to the Arab Spring and the revolution in Egypt, food prices and fuel prices, gas prices are now inescapably starting to edge higher in ways that are out of control. And it doesn't matter how much quantitative easing or any of these other programs are in place, this, this, the wheels are coming off.